All right, we're gonna get started with the main task now. Here you're going to hear a number of words and nonsense words. What I'd like you to do is listen to whether there's a silent pause in those words. If you hear one, please press the blue button. If you don't hear a pause, press the yellow button. All right? Okay. So the mission of our AI at CAM project is to support people who struggle to communicate in their day-to-day -day life. And that can be for a variety of reasons that apply across the lifespan. So in the average primary school classroom, it's estimated that there are two out of 30 children who have a developmental language disorder. And these are children who struggle to speak, listen and understand language in the classroom. And that has a, a lifelong impact on their education and their well-being. Now, in comparison to other better known conditions like autism, DLD is a bit of a Cinderella condition. It's not sufficiently recognised, diagnosed, and there aren't enough opportunities to help and support children who have those needs for communication. Now, we've all experienced using speech technologies more and more in our day-to-day -day lives. We speak to our phones rather than typing on their keyboards. Uh, the subtitles for this film are going to be generated by an automatic transcription system. But what's long been apparent is that those technologies struggle to work with speech that's atypical or unusual in a variety of ways. So that could be someone with an, a distinctive accent. It could be someone who's had a, a stroke, who has problems speaking clearly. Um, or it could even be a child. So when I was five, I had what was termed a speech sound disorder. And so I would tell my sister off for being wheelie wheelie shellfish. Now, of course, those, that sort of speech is very common in day-to-day -day life. Uh, we all as listeners can adapt and understand and what we're looking to do is to find ways of promoting AI that can similarly adapt and adjust to help people who struggle to communicate. One of the really striking things about modern language technologies like large language models is that they're all built on artificial neural networks. So these are computer simulations of the kinds of operations that are going on in real biological neurons in the brain. The mission of our AI at CAM project is to bring out those comparisons to try and use AI not just as a way of supporting people with language impairment but also to try and understand the nature of their language impairment, what it is that's gone wrong with the biological neurons in their brains that makes it difficult for them to speak, listen or communicate. So it's not just collecting data from people speaking and using language, it's also trying to understand the mechanisms, what's going on in their brain when they're speaking, listening and understanding. So those are the kinds of experiments that we do in our brain scanners here. So we can record brain activity when someone's listening to speech, when they're speaking, when they're learning new words or meanings. We can study how those processes work in healthy brains and how they go wrong in individuals with developmental language disorders or people who've had strokes or brain injuries. Father. Cardboard. Fanta. Center. Symptom. All right, great job with that block. Do you need any break at all before we get started with the next one? No, I'm ready. We're really at a very exciting early stage of this research. There's so many opportunities to use AI and language technology to support people who struggle to communicate in their day-to-day -day life. And that can be at a, for a range of different reasons, and we can support them in a range of different ways. So whether that's using AI in intelligent hearing aids, whether that's using AI to support language education, or indeed using AI to support language rehabilitation for people who have strokes or, or brain injury. We believe that AI and neuroscience and language technology can work together to support people in their day-to-day -day life. 